good morning friends so in today's video tutorial we are going to discuss uh, an example based on mamdani approach for fuzzy logic controller in a previous video we have already discussed what fuzzy logic controller is and what are different uh, terms that we are going to use with fuzzy logic controller in this particular way we are taking an example of that one we are, what we have to do is we have to design a controller to determine the wash time of a domestic washing machine and it is given that the input in this case will be dirt and grease on clothes what we have to do is we have to use three descriptors descriptor basically are the linguistic variables for input variable as well as five linguistic variables for output variables also right then finally what we have to do is we have to derive a set of rules for controller action and defuzzification and we have to show that if the clothes are solid to a larger degree the wash time will be more and vice versa right so this is the basic objective that we are going to do in this specific video first of all we have to know what are different steps for uh, computing the output in uh, fuzzy inference system or fuzzy logic controller there are five specific steps we have already discussed them in previous video uh, first step is to identify the input and output variables and then decide the descriptors or linguistic variables for the same so input and output variables are already given in this case right we have to decide the descriptors for those input and output variables and second step is define membership functions for each of the input and output variables so second in second case what we will do we will define membership value for all input variables and for all output variables as well then we will form a rule base then we will evaluate the rule and finally we defuzzify for giving you the crisp output right we are going to discuss two steps first and second in this video and third fourth fifth will be after the break part step 1 what we are going to do we have to identify input and output variable that is already being given input variables are dirt and grease and output variables are wash time that is being given the objective and what will be the descriptor for dirt and grease in that case we can take descriptors in our own way whatever you want to take right say for dirt we can take high dirt low dirt medium dirt these are three if you wish to take four then we can say uh, very high dirt if we want to take five we can add uh, very low dirt and so on right same for grease we are having low grease medium grease and high grease we can increase it as per our own requirement it should be relevant to the specific uh, term that we are taking okay well, uh, we have output variable wash time and we have to define five descriptors for same we will take very short short medium high and very high right this we haven't taken accordingly so uh, what we have done in step 1 is we have identified the input and output variables that is being already given and then we will define the, the descriptors or the linguistic variables for all the input variables and output variables in second step we have to define membership functions for input variables as well as for output variables so first membership uh, so first input variable we have is dirt and for defining the membership function for that one we have to represent a graph like this one okay what we are doing we are representing input variable as x in this case right and uh, so values for that one uh, could be any value that you wish to take in this case we have three specific uh, descriptors small dot medium dot and high dot that we are representing over here and accordingly we have three specific values 0 50 and 100 you can take out 0 60 100 0 40 100 as well, uh, as per your requirement but you are taking middle dot uh, medium dot as right so how you are going to calculate the membership value we are using uh, triangular membership function for this one and we are taking the first triangle in this case this is our first triangle so this for this first triangle if we wish to calculate the membership function for this how we are going to calculate is we are just taking it as forward minus backward divided by forward minus backward right so this is basically the 50 value minus backward is x in this case so it will be 50 minus x divided by 50 minus 0 and the range of x in this case will be in between 0 and 50 for this specific triangle we are having two parts so we will divide it into two situations two specific parts first one will be this one so this is at the upper part so forward minus backward this is x x minus 0 divided by 50 minus 0 okay and its range will be 0 to 50 between 0 and 50 for this part forward is this direction so forward minus backward any yani, uh, 100 minus x divided by 100 minus 50 okay and the range again will be in between 50 and 100 okay and then for the third one forward is this one x minus 50 divided by 100 minus 50 and range is between 50 and 100 the same way we will calculate for grease also we have changed the linguistic variables as small grease medium grease high grease but the value is same so the output will as well as same in that case so for this triangle for this triangle two values will be there and for this triangle one value will be there again 50 minus 
y divided by 50 minus 0. For this one, you will take y minus 0 divided by 50 minus 0. For this, you will take 100 minus y divided by 100 minus 50. For this, you will take 100 minus 50 divided by, sorry, y minus 50 divided by 100 minus 50. And then accordingly, you will find out the range of those, uh, the value of y in this case. And for uh, the wash time that we have the third specific variables we have five linguistic variables vs very short uh, short medium large and very large these are the five specific and accordingly we have decided what value should be of uh, that specific for small it should be 10 for medium it should be 25 for large it should be 40 it could be 50 also for very large it is 60 so whatever time you are choosing it or you are placing it according to your own wish right so again we have to calculate the membership function you know the rule forward minus backward again you are here 10 minus z divided by 10 minus 0 range between 0 and 10 for this you will be z minus 0 divided by 10 minus 0 and range is 0 to 10 for this you will do 25 minus z divided by 25 minus 10 range will be between 10 to 25 again for this you will say z minus 10 divided by 25 minus 10 and so on so you will calculate the membership value accordingly with all the specific uh, output variables the linguistic variables basically you can say so guys in this particular video we have discussed two steps of finding out uh, the for con designing the controllers according to Mundani approach that is in step one we have defined different inputs and output variable as well as their linguistic variables or descriptors and uh, in second step we have discussed the membership uh, value of uh, those specific linguistic variables by using the formula like forward minus backward forward minus backward and uh, uh, the specific uh, uh, triangular membership function for that one in second video in part two we are going to discuss the rest three steps so till then you take a small break and then uh, you come with the more energetic way to understand the uh, uh, rest three three steps of finding out uh, the specific uh, way to find out using Mamdani approach of fuzzy logic controller. So guys till then please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.